In this driving lesson video, I'm going to give you six tips to help you reverse around the corner successfully. Tip number one is about parking before you actually start the reverse. Make sure you don't park too close to the curb like this. If you park too close, you're going to risk hitting the curb or scraping the curb as you begin your reverse around the corner. Give yourself every chance of getting off to a good start by parking a reasonable distance from the curb like this and this will help ensure that you have some space as you begin your reverse around the corner. You're not too close but you're not too far away. Tip number two is about the side mirror adjustment. I do not recommend you adjust your side mirror downwards before you reverse around the corner. I think this is completely unnecessary because a good confident and capable driver shouldn't need to have their mirror down so low to guide them around the corner. Doing this increases blind spots. For example, you're not going to be able to see a cyclist or a pedestrian walking down the footpath if you have your mirror down too low. Plus, if you forget to readjust the mirror back up after you finish the reverse, there's a chance that that could affect your observation in a bad way the next time you try and take a left turn. Tip number three is about judging the angle and sharpness of the curb. All curbs are different. Some will be gradual while others will be more sharper. If you have a delicate and more gradual corner like this one here, then you need to steer accordingly. And that means steering more slowly and more gently to match the shape and angle of the curb. If you have a more sharper curb like this one here, well then you will need to steer a little bit quicker and react a little bit quicker when it reappears. So how you steer depends on the angle of the curb. Don't forget, you must let the curb disappear in your mirror, as you can see here, before you turn the wheel. This will help you to avoid clipping or hitting the curb as you go around the corner. Tip number four is about the speed you should be doing the reverse around the corner. You need to reverse around the corner very, very slowly using gentle clutch control. If you take it slow, this means that it is easier to manage and fix mistakes if they do happen. I have a great video on how to reverse covering the speed and the observation here. You'll see a link on the top of the screen and I will also leave links in the description. Slow speed and slow steering generally go quite well together when you are reversing around the corner. Tip number five is about observation. Usually you should be looking behind you when you reverse around the corner, although you can check the mirrors too occasionally. But where you should not be looking is out the front too much or at the steering wheel. I find a lot of learner drivers end up looking out front, through the front windscreen that is, and at the steering wheel as they get to the second half of the reverse around the corner. If you do this, you are going to get disorientated and confused. You need to react to what the back of the car is doing, not the front. For example, if you were taking a left turn, you wouldn't look out behind you and stare at the steering wheel. So the same philosophy goes for when you are trying to do a reverse around the corner. And tip number six, finally, is about steering at the end. Try not to oversteer at the end of the reverse around the corner. Oversteering is when you steer quickly, both left and right, and it causes the car to weave in and out, as you can see here, with little or no control. This too can lead to disorientation and confusion. You must give smaller, more gentle steers, like this, and give the car time to react to your initial instruction. This will mean less weaving and more control for you, the driver. I have made a great video on this very topic, which is quarter steers, as I like to call it. You will see a link in the description to this video, but also you'll see a link on the top of the screen there now, where I go into more detail on how you can avoid oversteering at the end of your reverse around the corner. 
So that brings us to the end of this video on six tips to help you reverse around the corner. If you would like to see some more videos that I made in relation to reversing around the corner, you will see them coming up on screen now. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon when I'll be making another driving lesson video.